Hi, boys and girls. This is a lesson on solving problems using length. So this is something that you have been doing all year. You've learned how to solve addition and subtraction problems with one digit numbers, two digit numbers, and three digit numbers. This time you're doing the same thing, except you are going to be using units of length. So that includes centimeters, inches, feet, and yards. You're going to use the same skills that you've learned to determine whether you're going to add or subtract to solve these problems. All right, so let's get started. Michaela has a string of beads that is 56 centimeters long. She cuts off eight centimeters to make it the right length for a necklace. How long is the string of beads now? Well, let's look at the information that we have. We know that this is about a string of beads. We know she started with a string that was 56 centimeters long and she cut off eight centimeters to make it the right length for a necklace. Started with 56, cut off eight. So we have to decide if that's going to be addition or subtraction. Well, we can draw a picture. If the string started at 56 and we cut eight off, how many would that leave us? Sometimes drawing a picture is very helpful. Another strategy that you've used is making a bar model. So the top box is going to have the larger number on it. The two bottom boxes are going to have the two numbers that add up to that bigger number. And you can use subtraction to find that missing number. So if you start with 56 and you take away eight, you're going to find that missing number. You can also use an open number line. You can start at 56 and then subtract a tens number and then subtract the rest. Well, if I start at 56 and I count back to 50, that's taking away six. But I only took away six, I need to take away eight. Now, if I take away an extra two, I end up at 48. So how long is the string of beads now? 48 centimeters. So you boys and girls have learned how to solve these problems, but now we're inserting the areas of length. Let's take a look. Jose throws a ball 59 feet. Oscar throws a ball 15 feet less than Jose. How far does Oscar throw the ball? Well, if Jose throws it 59 feet and Oscar throws the ball 15 feet less, are we adding more feet or are we taking away feet or counting back? Well, if it's less than, that means I'm going to go back. So I need to take 15 away. If I start at 59 and I take away 10, I have 49. And then I swing that 49 around and take away that five and I end up at 44 feet. So 59 take away 15 is 44 feet. Using another strategy that we talked about, we can use a bar model. We started at 59 feet. Well, 59 take away that 15 is 44. So that missing number is 44. I'm able to double check it by doing a fact family. I know 44 plus 15 equals that 59, that bigger number up on top. Next problem. Kelly has a piece of string that is 70 inches long. She uses some of the string to wrap a package. Now she has 24 inches of string left. How many inches of string does Kelly use? Well, we know that she started with 70 and she only has 24 left. So we need to know how she got from 70 down to 24. Well, we can use an open number line. We can start all the way at the end with 70. We have to get back to 24. Well, I can go from 70 all the way back to 30. So 70 take away 40 is 30, but I'm not at 24 yet. So from 30 to 24 is six. So 40 plus six is 46. All right, here goes another one. I hope you're following along. Tom's first track is 54 centimeters long. His second track is 82 centimeters long. How much shorter is the first track than the second track? Well, our first piece of information, we know that Tom's track 
The first one is 54 centimeters long. The second one is 82 centimeters long. We want to know how much shorter the other one is. So that means we're comparing. Anytime we compare, we can subtract or count up or count back to find that difference. Well, I'm going to use a strategy that we have also learned and that you might have um, some more practice with. We're going to do regrouping. We have 82 on top because that's the biggest or the greatest number. Then we're going to take away 54 to find the difference between them. We're comparing these numbers. So then I'm going to think about the strategies that we used in the classroom. More on the floor or more on top? Well, there's more on the floor because four is greater than two in the ones column. So more on the floor, go next door, get 10 more. So I'm going to go next door to the eight, have it become a seven, and that two becomes a 12. So now I'm able to subtract. 12 take away four is eight, seven take away five is two. So my final answer is 28 centimeters. That's how much shorter the first track is than the second track. So boys and girls, you're using strategies that you've learned throughout the year to solve these problems. You can subtract tens then ones, you can subtract ones then tens, you can use a bar model, you can use an open number line, and you can use regrouping. But remember, you are able to do these problems. Don't let them confuse you simply because they're using measurements and length. Inches, centimeters, and yards are just as similar as bugs, balls, and toys. All right, good luck.